Welcome back to another Pipedrive training video. In this video, I want to talk a little bit about the products feature of Pipedrive and how you can use it to add more detail to your deals and track the revenue or sales that you are generating from different products or services in your business. Now, if you have any questions at the end of this video, don't forget to comment below. Subscribe to this channel to get new Pipedrive videos in your feed. And if you want to learn more about my one-on-one -on -one consulting service, have a look in the description below this video to learn about my uh, consulting services. The products feature, first of all, is available to people on the advanced plan and higher. So if you're only on Essential, unfortunately, you will not have access to this feature. Uh, most, most people I'm talking to now are on advanced, which is great. Now products, let me uh, set up an example product here and, and show you how this works. So I've got a couple in here already, so website design and app design. You wouldn't just have to use this for like physical products, but you can see here this is more like a service that I'm selling potentially. So I could add a product. I could call this like SEO. If you do have like a physical product catalog, you, you can put in codes, you can select categories uh, and set things like units and unit price. Now, most of the information here doesn't really get used or doesn't really show on the reporting in Pipedrive. Like you can't, one of the limitations currently is that you can't pull a report by product category. Um, this is more just metadata about the product, which you can use, it's stored on the product. So if you are integrating Pipedrive with other tools, for example, if you're integrating with, with some kind of proposal software, this metadata could be used in that integration. So although it's not directly used in Pipedrive like reports and things, it is still useful to put this information in if you have it. What you do need to put it in is a unit price. That is sort of a required field. So I could say, let's say $500 in here. So let's save that product now. Now what I could do as well is if I click on the product itself, this is again where I can edit the uh, details about the product, the code and so on. Um, what I want to do is set up some product variations. Now actually in this account, I don't have product variations enabled yet. So what I will do is go into my settings and under the tools and apps page on the products tab, you can enable price variations. So I'm going to turn that on as well. Another option is actually to set up product durations as well. So you could use this, like it says in the example here, let's say you're selling like a service for a certain amount of time. So for example, you're selling 500 square feet of office space for three months. You could enable product durations as well. So now when I go back to my products tab, if I click on the product itself, I might just reload my page. And so here we go, we now have this variations tab. And so this is where I can set up different types of product within my product. So for example, with this SEO service that I'm selling, I might have an SEO, let's, actually let's just call it audit. Let's say I sell an SEO audit for $500 and let's save that there. And then maybe let's do one more. Let's say I have, actually let's do a couple more. Let's do keyword research. Maybe I sell that for a thousand. And let's do one more, let's do link building. I sell that for uh, 1500 And so now, now that I've set up my product and different variations, when I go to a deal, let me pick this example deal, rather than just choosing a deal value like you probably did before, I can now add products. And so I could say, right, this deal consists of, let's say I'm doing website design uh, and that's gonna be, I don't know, $10,000. What I can also do is add a new line and I could say, I'm gonna also add some SEO services and with the variation option here, I'm gonna do link building. So it's actually changed the price there as well. And uh, maybe I want to do that for like three months so I can change the quantity as well. And so you can see the final value of the deal um, is updating as I change these figures. So if I change that to a six, you'll see that this number has updated. So now when I've saved my products, I do have a deal value just like I did before, but it's actually, it consists of different products. And so number one, this just helps the sales rep to see what are we actually selling. It's useful to have that extra information on the deal itself. If you are integrating with any third party tools to generate things like proposals or contracts, you may want to even use this product data. So that's an option as well. And finally in reporting, what it means is if I, I get to the end of my process, I mark my deal as one, now, when I go to my reports, if I look at deals one, I have this by products over time. And actually, let's just look at this year. And so I can see for February, here are the different uh, units of products that I've sold. So I've done six units of SEO. That was the um, uh, monthly 
uh, what was it, link building or something that we did. There's the app design, five units, and one unit of website design. Uh, and if I switch over to value, I can see the value of those different things as well. So this is great because it actually lets me see for the different products or services that I sell, basically how much revenue do I get for these different things within my business. Uh, instead of just seeing deal value, obviously that's useful, but having this extra layer in my report where I can see what products or services do I sell more of, this is really useful. So this is one of the main ways uh, products gets is really, really handy in Pipedrive. So if you haven't set up any products for your business yet, I would highly recommend giving it some thought, maybe thinking about how you might use this. Obviously it's not gonna to apply to every type of business. Uh, maybe if you run, like maybe if you work in something like mortgages and you're just tracking your commission, maybe products isn't something you need. But actually, even in that case, if you write mortgages, for example, to different banks or lending providers, maybe you want to use the products, not necessarily to track products you sell, but to the different banks that you lend to. So you could use this feature to kind of suit your business. So if you have any questions, please leave me a comment below. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video.